Virgos, hey my loves, come on in, come on in, tell a friend and tell a friend. Let's go ahead and see what is going on with your surrounding energy and what messages spirit has for you today. Thank you guys so, so much for your love and your support, your likes, shares, and subscribes. And thank you so much for your bookings, booking your personal readings with me. Um, I appreciate you guys trusting me to be a light on your path. Thank you for your beautiful comments and subscribes and just everything you do for our channel is greatly appreciated. I hope everybody is operating in their highest frequency. All right. I pray that you're feeling amazing and blessed and just know how blessed you are. Even through the storm, even through the trials, y'all got this. Okay. You really, really do. Now, um, with that being said, y'all, let's go ahead and dive in and see what messages Spirit wants to give you. We're going to start off with your spiritual awakening card to see exactly what you need to focus on and what would be beneficial to you at this time. Um, let's see what you can focus on to bring into fruition what you truly want, even if that's higher learning or a higher vibration, okay? Then we're going to dive into the Oracle tarot cards it's going to be well they're kind of tarot and oracle cards to me it's the angel tarot so we're going to dive into that and then we're going to see where spirit takes us from there all right holy spirit holy angels ancestors and spirit guides thank you for bringing me here for the virgo sun moon rising venus and north node wherever you have virgo placements in your chart cross watches you're welcome as well Thank you so much, Holy Spirit, for blocking and binding all negative energy, entities, witchcraft, wickedness, anything coming up against this channel or your divine will for our lives. We claim victory over every stronghold, principality of darkness, Santa Maria, evil eye, any type of witchcraft, wickedness, spells, incantations, be bonded, banished, and broken. Um, thank you so, so much in your name, Holy Spirit, Heavenly Father. Thank you so, so much. Um, thank you for giving us peace that passes all understanding, being our light in the time of darkness, and giving us shelter in the time of need, all right? Even if that is us being able to come to you and be hidden from any kind of darkness or discord. Amen? Amen. And help somebody less fortunate, and we praying for our adversaries today. Lord, help them, okay? Help them out. Amen. Okay, let's get into it. All right, what should Virgo's focus be on today? So we got the law, the universal law of transcendence, all right? It says reverse the dark side of life. Um, what I'm getting intuitively is this is all about you seeing the good and what others may see as bad. Um, this is you making a negative a positive, I believe, all right? But let's see what the card says before we dive into the angel several let's see so this is the universal law of transcendence and to transcend means to rise above it means to come out of so let's see it means to go higher let's see here we are um reverse the dark side of life i'm gonna hold the card up to see how you feel while you're looking at it and it says, this law is based on the axiom of all life is designed for spiritual growth and awakening. You are constantly demanded to go beyond your limiting beliefs and expand your consciousness through relative experiences. Well, I'm sorry, relative experiences. Rising above all circumstances. As you transcend your beliefs going beyond your limited perceptions, you are able to embody the truths of the universe and experience your divinity. Um, it says by drawing this card, it indicates that you are on the right path. This message is divine, a divine sign that you are following your calling and your dreams. Be still and know that everything is unfolding perfectly. Everything that your heart desires is manifesting now. It is time to live with faith and let go of any doubt. This note is the conf it says this note is the confirmation that you have been asking for from the universe. It is time to celebrate. Oh, all right. So finally, you are on the right path. You guys are doing whatever it takes to get you on this right path, even if that's letting go, understanding something, seeking more knowledge, whatever it is. It's no mistake that this message has found you this means that you're being encouraged to continue moving forward continue choosing yourself continue showing up for yourself every day and setting new goals and reaching for them 
Continue to let go of the things that don't serve you, that whatever you, you've done to enable you to open up your vision to the point where you made it here to get this message. Keep going, okay? Keep going. That's what Spirit is telling you today. All right, so let's get your cards and see what's coming out with the Angel Tarot. Um, we'll definitely get another set of Oracle cards and then clarify those two. But we're going to start here and see exactly what the surrounding energy is for you today. So show me clear messages, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, Guides, Ascended Masters, whoever is here to service our Virgos on today. Show me clear messages. We only brought the delight, by the way. So not whoever, okay? <laughs> not whoever. Look, only the divine. Only the divine. Only the divine. All right, let's see what's going on here. For Virgo, show me clear messages. What's the overall energy? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. All right, so the first card out is the three of fire, Virgo. Abundance. It says things look very, very good. Have patience at this time. Make long-term plans. So, baby, the secret is out. It is no secret, all right? God is blessing you, all right? And God is definitely blessing you big. The universe is bringing everything around to you to unfold. Everything that you've been putting out, you're slowly but surely getting it back. And those seeds that you're planting, the seeds that you've planted, they're growing, they're beginning to flourish and you're beginning to see the outcomes, okay? Next, we got unity. It says traditional viewpoints and methods, spiritual organizations, seek out mentors that and like-minded friends. So it may be time for you to get into some type of spiritual group, all right? A group where people are like-minded and they feel the way you do about certain situations. Y'all just don't know. I'm really thinking about starting a spiritual group for us just to... So we can touch and agree with each other so we can come in and get together um, just to talk about things. So I'm going to see how that goes. Um, I don't want to share too much of my idea because that's just a tab. Like that's just a pinch of it. Um, but it's, it's great. I always come up with great ideas for us. So it's all about the timing and me making it happen. So <laughs> keep praying with me. Okay. Not only for me, keep praying with me that we do great things over here in our channel continues to expand and we get everything back a hundredfold that we're putting out into the universe all right because i really want this to be bigger 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 i'm gonna keep expanding so you guys yeah that's 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 what we doing okay that's what we doing seven of fire um defend your beliefs and decisions stand your ground choose your battles wisely all right so these things are all intertwined with you being on the right path and what it's going to take for you to continue to be steadfast all right continue to be focused all right so um with the three of fire is the three of wands energy it's also talking about you being bold um taking the initiative taking the proper steps in order for you to make something happen even if that means leaving your comfort zone um with the three of wands we see somebody well here we see an angel right beside you talking to you helping you guiding you um with these three wands behind you and these could be situations that you're definitely familiar with you could even be thinking about making a move and going out of town but you don't want to leave your family you could be thinking about um how much more is out there for you to accomplish even though you have these comfort zones that you've built and become established with these are things that are very familiar to you but you're getting the courage and your angels are helping you this actually is this a dragon whatever this is is some type of spirit god um dragons represent strength and a protector somebody to guide you and this dragon is her friend sitting there talking to her comforting her in a time of need and definitely ready to spread those wings and protect her actually ready to take her wherever she wants to go so i feel like this dragon is representing the universe telling you basically virgo whenever you're ready i'm ready i'm with it all right we riding out let me know what we where we going it's up to you to set the sense of direction that you want to go in. So Spirit is saying as long as you keep moving forward and keep moving up the ladder, he's okay with wherever you want to go. All right. So be specific, be intentional, and be bold. All right. Go for your dreams. You only live once. You got to go for it. Try. All right. Just like with some people wanting to start um, channels and things like that. I mean, the only fault in it is if you don't press play. If you never try, you never know. All right. There's been some people watching my channel and they're doing really well. They started their own, you know. So do what your heart and God is telling you to do, but stay in alignment. It's not for everybody. 
all right and sometimes trial and error will show you that but the ones that are called to do something like this continue to move forward and reach for the stars um continue to follow that inner voice and do what spirit puts on your heart all right when with this unity card guys what i really feel is i feel a need for somebody to get out be around people um somebody here could be spiritually balanced and grind um and grounded i almost said grinding so you could be very um driven very career focused and focused on your career um but we got the hermit energy here this card represents the hermit to me and you're a very colorful divine being look what this hermit is wearing definitely are set apart and very different in your style and your energy and your attitude you're just a trendsetter you do things your way and you do it through wisdom knowledge all right so most of the time you know what you're doing and you're making the right decision you're also divine with the halo you're also divine all right so it's important for you to be with like-minded people um and that's what spirit wants you to do um and it could be a little bit tough you know but start with your soul tribe start with um just i feel like your intuition will send you the right direction when it comes to those people you'll be connected it'll be some type of attraction just how you found me is how you're gonna find others um seven of fire defend your beliefs and decisions stand your ground choose your battles wisely yeah i feel like you got a little bit of advers adversity around and it's okay um, this is the seven of wands energy. So this is you standing up for what you truly believe, not really letting people's opinions of you affect you. You're being very resilient and very powerful right now. Um, some of y'all really feel in your power. Like you're not taking any crap from anybody, like, and you're not taking any losses. Um, a lot of you guys know that some people feel a way and you're letting them feel just that way. You're taking the high road and realizing that everybody's entitled to their opinion and it does not make or break you. Baby, what God is doing in your life and what the universe is bringing to you no man is going to be able to shut it down okay your seeds are growing you've been watering them you've been doing the work so it's nothing nobody can do to stop this beautiful transition that's happening in your life we got the nine of pentacles at the bottom of the deck enjoying life's little luxuries spending quiet time alone successful self-employment all right for some of you guys you are really on your way um to be having this beautiful wealthy life that you desire and deserve a lot of y'all been working since y'all been kids okay you've been working your butt off virgo and none of that is going to go unnoticed um and i feel like a lot of this energy of the seeds that you've planted growing is going to have something to do with that i really do feel that energy too like something really is budding you're starting to really see the fruits of your labor flourish even if that's just you making changes within yourself in order to put yourself in alignment to get these new blessings it's happening <clears throat> now let's see what else spirit wants to tell you right now that was your spiritual portion of your message all right so we're gonna put these cards to the side and we're gonna continue to move forward we'll put your spiritual card here we'll continue to move forward with this message <clears throat> let's see what else spirit wants to tell you about your surrounding energy what else is going on in virgo's surrounding energy let's just get these cards and see what's coming towards you all right let's see if you guys want to book a personal reading because you resonate with me my loves Look it at closer to number two my destiny.com. There's also spiritual bracelets and different things there for you. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and I'm working on adding to our shop, seeing what else. Um, y'all, I'm gonna do a poll or tell me in the comments what things would you like to see in our spiritual shop? What other things would you like to see? I have bracelets, salt baths. Um, do y'all want me to make more t-shirts, like some different t-shirts? Because that spread shop is not my products like i came up with the picture that's on there but it's not my product i'm thinking about changing it um but i have our things are on my website all right but let me know what you want to see in the spiritual shop or if it's something there that you need that you don't see so check it out all right so let's see holy spirit holy angels overall energy for virgo what don't they see or what do they need to know <clears throat> feeling complete can't stop smiling, happiness, and devotion. I like that. A lot of my Virgos, yes, tribe. 
A lot of my soul drive are, they're happy. Y'all are happy. Yes, high vibrations. You're feeling good. Um, something could be giving you butterflies. You could be meeting somebody new. Something has you in your energy where you can't stop smiling. You feel very devoted or somebody is showing you a high level of devotion. Um, and you're just really feeling good and in your power. Some of you are manifesting and you're also blossoming. You're growing. Somebody is very proud of the way that they're changing and developing their new mindset, their new life. Okay, it's working for you. I love that. And we have the color yellow. Something is telling me to talk to you about the meaning of the color yellow. Um, so real quick, let me um let me let you know about the color yellow. Yes, and I, that's why I love sunflower so much too, because the color yellow is talking about joy. It's associated with joy and happiness and a lot of positive energy. So you can feel like at this time a lot of positive energy is surrounding you. Um, it has a lot to do with your solar plexus chakra being balanced, balancing your emotions. Um, and it's the seat of your power and will. So somebody feels very strong, like a lot of willpower. Um, and it could be a person that's making you feel like this. Somebody is finding a way to come out of their ego. Somebody is balancing, having too much pride and arrogance and being stubborn, holding back. You're balancing that energy because that's underneath the bottom of the deck. So a lot of you guys are definitely, you've made the decision to balance that energy. Feeling a lot better these days and it's working for you. Um, it's opening up these doors, okay? So it's a time of celebration and feeling balanced and content with life, all right? Like I said, these um, things that are unfolding in your life, it's like no mistake that you found this message. For a lot of my loyal subscribers I already knew, of course, you're going to tap onto your message and listen. But some of the newcomers, um, I feel like they are really needing to hear this, all right? So let's see. It's just reassurance. This is a very lighthearted video. It's very reassuring. Single, independent, freedom from attachment, available to date. So some of you guys are seriously enjoying the single life. Y'all are enjoying your peace. You're enjoying this abundant life. You're having money coming in and things are working for you at this time. Um, some of you guys are working on releasing things that was hard for you to release. Um, <clears throat> you are. Because we got releasing the nine of water, releasing whatever is necessary for your dream, all right? Because a lot of you guys, right under this release, as soon as you finish with this cycle of releasing the things that don't serve you, and it's going to be always, let me just not say finish with this cycle so you won't think that it's not a forever type of thing because you're always accumulating more energy, more people, more things that you end up not even needing or they don't serve you. So it's all about the lessons you learn and you're always going to have to be in a place where you have to release what doesn't serve you or the excess baggage, so to speak. But as long as you put yourself in that energy where you're resilient, you're resilient about it and you're very empathetic about it. You definitely understand the plan is always for your higher good and never to attack, hurt or disable you. Then you'll walk in power, right? You'll walk in this level of peace that passes all understanding. That is so true. But we got the ace of earth here, the infinite flow of abundance a promising business venture, important documents or contracts. So something really, really amazing is coming in for you. And this was behind releasing, all right? So you're going from the nine of earth to the ace of pentacles. And once you release, you get your wish granted. So somebody is definitely heading in the right direction. Um, this is going to be everything for you, okay? Um, and you might be single right now. If you're a single Virgo, this definitely resonates with your energy. Um, it's all about you releasing, reflection somebody needs to reflect dark night of the soul is here so there are some things that you definitely need to let go of time to face the inner truth about yourself not about anybody else seeing your true colors and letting go of whatever you need to let go of no this ain't about nobody else this is about you and this is about your elevation this is about you balancing your energy and doing what really is best for you and it's okay to be single some people are meant to be single because you're so divine and God is using you for so many different things. Like all these ideas come to you and you really get in touch with your higher self. And then you start branching out doing really making really powerful moves. All right. That make a bold statement to the universe and you help others. You pour into people and people learn by your example. So don't look at being single as a bad thing, y'all. 
do not. Some of y'all look, you could be having too much fun, clubbing too much, um, doing a lot of risky things or spending a lot of time with your friends. It's time for you to take reflection. Somebody is partying way too much and this is keeping you stagnant. But some of you is keeping you toxic. Um, let's see why Spirit put this out for you. Let's get the tarot now and go ahead and dive in. It's another set of tarot cards, y'all. So let's see what's happening with this. Energy. Let's get some of that. Yeah, let's get this. So with the butterfly, as soon as I opened the deck, I saw magician and the star. So I feel like you're manifesting. The magician can come off a little bit tricky, all right? But it also stands for you um, knowing what you have to do to get what you want, um, manifesting a reward. So you really could be working on something here. And it's a bright opportunity here. So some of y'all could be, this could even be something as simple as putting in job applications, but whatever this is that you're doing, it's going to make you very happy. So, Virgo, you're in your magician energy, manifesting positive movement forward after completing some type of significant cycle and everything is coming around full circle. You guys just ended something, something that you closed out, triumphant completion, all right? And now you're able to move forward. So, you're moving forward after something. It's a very tough cycle that's closed. A lot of you guys finally are finalizing your divorces. I saw that in the comments. Congratulations. For a lot of you guys, you are closing out these toxic cycles or karmic relationships. Finally, you feel empowered to do that. We got single independent here. Let's see. Yeah, somebody is leaning on their faith. Y'all said the most high got me. Traditional teachings. You're very, I feel like some of you are very old school. All right. And you do things in decency and order. A lot of you guys like to go by your faith, your spiritual beliefs. Um, and this is what's deep rooted in you. And this is what's keeping you grounded. All right. In a world that gets kind of crazy, your faith is keeping you grounded. Yes. New excitement and your prayers are being answered. New things are happening, unfolding for you. Let's see reflection. Y'all, we running out of time. So I'm going to hurry up and get this out to you. Ooh. The Queen of Pentacles, peaceful abundance, all right? Reflecting on the things inside that you really need to detach from. Reflecting on your flaws, maybe your faults, all right? Perfectly imperfect. Some of you guys could feel like you spilled out the cups and you did something that wasn't so favorable. But we have the fruits of your labor showing, flourishing, coming to pass. A lot of you guys are working hard, workers very focused, all right? You're doing it. You feel happy. You have beautiful energy surrounding you. Look, the sun. You have joy, unspeakable joy. People can't even figure out how you stay so happy and balanced and grounded. And a lot of you telling me it's your faith. It's the peace that you get from being single and focusing on yourself. It gives you a lot of time for reflection. Um, and a lot of you are distancing yourself from partying too much or whatever the case may be. Some of y'all are really getting your wishes granted. Things are coming into fruition for you that you've been praying for. And what is this party card? Your life has changed. Things are turning around for you. And the seeds that you planted are growing. A lot of you guys, you're seeing that. You're getting an equal give and take, generous giving. And with this partying or whatever the case may be, some of y'all really just want people that you can spend time with, have fun with. A lot of you guys. Yeah, that's what I see here. <clears throat> I see that. Some of you guys, you could be giving a lot to your friends. All right. And you need to be careful because somebody around you could be deceptive. Um, and they just are feeding off your energy. So be careful, all right? Make sure you pay attention. But this is you feeling lovingly complete. You could be moving in silence or there's some type of hidden deceit. Somebody could be trying to attack you. So it's something with friends, not even attack, but some type of, somebody just being sneaky around you. So watch the people that are in your circle. Be careful when you're going out on dates and partying too much, all right? Because um, there's something that you might not see. All right, but this is definitely the Ten of Cups, lovingly complete, and a lot of beautiful things coming into abundance for you. All right, so not everybody going to be happy about your success, but uh -huh, stay balanced and stay grateful. Everything is going to come around full circle. Fall back, retreat, pull back your energy and step away. Take a needed break. You will awaken to a new point of view. It's amazing what a perfect, perfect, perfect. 
perspective shift can do. So this might be what you need to do when it comes to partying, friends, and going out. All right. I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for all the love and support. And I will see you on the next video, my loves, later on. Bye, lovies.